Yeah, I like it. It was a great edition with a lot of people, a lot of very qualified people. Uh, it's not like other events where you are demoing all day long and explaining the basic of VR. It's more people who already know about VR, about XR, coming with projects, coming with needs, and we can show some really interesting use cases. Uh, that's what we like as a hardware provider because we are not creating content, we are uh, partnering with a lot of different companies creating this content. So when we can go deep in the project, when we can talk really about the use cases uh, and not about the specs, uh, it's very good for us. Yeah, it was a great panel because we were complementary. So there's content, there's hardware, there's people working day to day with end users. Uh, and I'm glad to see that we are align on the challenges, the obstacles, and I'm sure we have everything uh, in Europe to, to grow together, to grow this industry. Uh, we have the talent, we have the community, we have a lot of people involved in it. Now we just need to organize it to make more collaboration between different countries, uh, different kind of technology as well, and be open-minded uh, in terms of content, in terms of hardware. Uh, I'm glad that people during this event tried, uh, tested and asked us a lot of questions because there are still a lot of different misinformation about VR and XR. So I'm glad about this event because it was the best way to change the mind of people who has a lack of knowledge in XR and VR.